All right, Steve, you're the boss, you're the CEO, you're the president. Yep. So let me start off this way. Have I told you any of the questions I'm going to ask you yet? No. I no. wish you had. No, <laughs> you wish I had. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, and I want to place them starting in the kind of fact versus fiction category. Yep. So I'm going, to, I'm going to say something, which a lot of people associate in one form or another with reverse mortgages. I want you to tell me whether it's fact or fiction and why. So here's okay. the first one. Home equity bank is not regulated like the big banks are. False. So we're, we're a Schedule One bank just like the Royal Bank of Canada or TD or any of the big banks. Same regulations, same regulator, uh, exact same standards of conduct for how we treat customers. And how long has that been the case? Uh, 2009, so 11 years. And did you fight that? You didn't want it or you did want it? No, we absolutely wanted it. Uh, we thought it was, it was important for us as an organization because getting access to bank deposits allowed us to lower our cost of funds and actually lower, allowed us to lower our interest rates for customers. We also think there's a security that people take from knowing you know, we're federally regulated, as I said, just like the big banks. It's been really good for business All right, here's good the for customers. Here's the second one. Reverse mortgages aren't for everyone. <laughs> no products for everyone, right? Credit cards, conventional mortgages, mutual funds, they're not for everybody. Um, but they're probably for more people than you would realize. And who wouldn't be right for a reverse mortgage? So the product's designed for people who want to stay in their home, and they want to stay in their home for a good long period of time. We assume people are going to be in their home 9 to 12 years. If you're thinking of selling in a year uh, or two years, even I would admit you're, you're probably better, and you can afford it, which is a big, big question. But if you can afford the payments, you're probably better to get a conventional line of credit or you know, regular mortgage. Okay. Um, here's the next one. And this is, this is one that comes up a lot in discussions. You've already raised it uh, in a way earlier on. Interest rates for a reverse mortgage are bigger than normal mortgages. I don't know about the word bigger. I mean, they are Larger, higher. Larger, higher, they are in higher percentage than percentage terms. Higher than normal mortgages. So that's um, true. That is true. Uh, and it's a, a question of, you know, you get what you pay for, right? So in, in return for the benefits of no regular payments, stay in your home as long as you want, uh, in, you know, smaller, sort of lesser known fact is we only have recourse to the value of your house. So we're taking long-term property risk. We have customers who have been in their homes 25, 30 years. Uh, we're taking the risk that their house value will be more than the mortgage when it, when it comes time to sell. So in return for those risks, we charge slightly more interest rates. But, but our interest rate is, uh, one-year rate is 3.99% right now. So it's still pretty competitive, and it's very competitive compared to credit cards and some of the other things that our customers are paying off with the proceeds of our mortgage. Here's the next one. You could lose your home with a reverse mortgage. Uh, God, <laughs> you know, that one, that one drives me crazy. There, there's, a, there's this perception then this persistent myth that somehow or other, you know, at the end of the term, we own your house. Never been the case in Canada, never will be the case in Canada. And I just, you know, I don't know how to, I don't know how to get rid of that one. So why? But definitely not true. Okay, but why? Why is it not true? Oh, because it's, it's, it's just a regular mortgage. Uh, so you get a mortgage from us. We're registered on title. At the end, you know, when you decide you, de you want to move, uh, you pay us back with the proceeds from your house and you keep all the equity. And for most of our customers, 99% of our customers, it's 50% equity or more. Uh, so it's, you know, it's just a mortgage. It's a relatively simple product. You could end up owing more than your house is worth. We actually encourage people to only take the amount of money that they need. Um, so we qualify people for a certain dollar amount of, of money. Um, people tend to take only about 80% of what they actually qualify for unless they have a very specific requirement. Um, and it, you know, like we're Canadians, right? So we're practical people. We do kind of practical things. People tend to take only the amount of money that they qualify for. The best example I can give you is if you're you know, living in a $2 million house in Vancouver and you're 85 years old, we could potentially lend you a million to a million, $1.1 million. Most 85 year olds, you say, you know, congratulations, you get a million bucks. They're gonna be, what am I gonna do with a million dollars? Uh, our average loan is $180,000 and that's across you know, all markets and in all provinces. People don't tend to take as much money as they potentially could. Is there a cap 
on how much you can borrow against your home. Yeah, so the, the maximum loan to value is 57.5%. And, um, and it's a bit of a protection, again, for people to make sure they don't take too much money. And is that determined by you or is that a regulation that is uh, imposed on you? Um, it's determined by us. Here's the last fact and fiction question. Um, you don't need a lawyer oh, to have false. a reverse no, mortgage. No, absolutely not. We, ever since the company's been founded, we've required people the very last step in the process. So you, you've gone through it, you've talked with your family, you know, we really want to make sure you understand it. And the very last thing you have to do is you have to go to your lawyer. So it has to be independent. And the lawyer has to make sure, and they actually signed a certificate that says, I've explained uh, the mortgage to my client. Uh, and more importantly, they understood it. So no, you, and, and we've had lawyers who complained that they have to go to see a lawyer. And it's just the way it is. Everybody's got to go see a lawyer. But this is uh, something that is imposed by home equity. It's yeah, not this imposed is on you to no. have to do it. No, it's not a bank regulation. Uh, very, I don't think any other products actually do that. We just think it's important for clients. We really want people to understand the product and how it works. Um, and, we, and we want their families to understand how it works. And we just think it's a really important step. And that last point is a pretty important one, I gather. The, uh, the family having full knowledge, not just the homeowner and the homeowner's spouse, if that's the case, yep. but the extended family as well? We want fully informed clients and we want um, the families to understand what's going on because, you know, sometime down the road, um, you know, if the clients pass away, we don't really, you know, we don't want there to be any surprises. Um, and we find generally families are really supportive. A lot of times they say, well, you know, you've, mom, dad, you've sacrificed for us for all these years when we were growing up. You know, we don't want the house. Most kids don't actually want the house. They've, they've got a house. If you need to draw equity from that house and improve your lifestyle, they're totally for it. And the surprise would be for those families who weren't informed that we're expecting at that moment that there was going to be a kind of a windfall for them from the house of their parents who'd passed on. Yeah, once in a They're while. They're not going to have it. Yeah, once in a while. So there, we do have clients who are fairly proud and they don't want to tell anybody their financial circumstances and they don't, you know, they don't want to involve their kids for some reason. Uh, very much the minority. You've been in the, the reverse mortgage business for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised that a lot of these kind of fact or fiction questions are still around? in terms of reverse mortgages, that they're still kind of out there and people are asking them? I'm certainly surprised about the one about, you know, you could lose your house. Um, you know, it's, we're a relatively small company. The big banks spend way more money than we could ever spend in marketing and sales and promotion. Uh, we like to think that we move the dial. I, it, the knowledge of the product when I joined the company 24 and a half years ago compared to now is significantly better. And even in the last five years, it's significantly better. And I think also what's happening is this is a product, you know, kind of whose time has come, right? People want to stay in their home and they want to stay in their home as long as they can. Uh, I think the awareness of the product and the acceptance of the product is greater. And people are also prepared to do the work and, and sort of understanding the product and, and what it can potentially do for them. Stephen Ranson, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Peter.